Lake Michigan and the waterways surrounding the Tri-Cities helped to shape them to the vibrant areas that they are today. And thanks to a new grant from the Tri-Cities Museum, you can learn about the vital history that these waterways played. The history of Grand Haven can't be told without the Grand River. So the waterways have always been of great importance to the community, whether it was indigenous people who first lived here using the waterways for, for fishing, for travel. Using the waters for the essentials. Later on, as Western expansion came through, the history of fur trade and logging has been central to the region. And that goes for much of the Tri-Cities. This area has always been shaped by water activities, whether it's through business or people just enjoying the natural beauty of West Michigan. And Tri-Cities Historical Museum says the history is more recent than you think. In the last hundred years, just seeing the area develop in terms of leisure on the water, a lot of boating, a lot of fishing, still a lot of recreation on the water. So when the museum received the grant from the DeVos Family Foundation for $20,000, they knew just what to do with it. We want to um, completely reimagine the space and talk about maritime, all things uh, waterways for the museum and how water shaped the community. The exhibit will feature the personal and the business. Stories of the shipping, the fishing industry in the area, the boat building, um, a lot of the, um, the steamships that would come in and out of the uh, harbor and just the industry and the stories. And give that immersive experience. We want to make it, um, you know, very sensory. So we're going to have the sound of waves, of seagulls, um, of um, just maybe harbor sounds too. That will really take you back. Um, so really when you're in the space that you feel like you're down on the water 150 years ago. The museum is still waiting on more funding before they get started on the exhibit, but they hope to get going in 2025. But for now, reporting in Grand Haven, Wadida Damna, Fox 17 News.